All right, this is Mr. Reese, and I'm an elementary PE teacher, and I'm going to talk about how to use artificial intelligence in to create my lessons and just to make it better. So first of all, I'm using the chat GPT. It's amazing. Um, it will help a lot. So first of all, I made an account and then I logged in and then I'm going to show you the, the possibilities of helping out your physical education program. So the first thing in, in this, I typed, I, I didn't even spell everything right, but that's okay. It recognized it anyway. Curriculum outline for elementary PE grades one through four. And the more specific things you ask, the better answers you get, obviously. So grade one is warm-up activities, basic movement skills, running, hopping, skipping, galloping. And then you can see that it lists each grade and the activities throughout the curr curr curriculums. Um, then I ask the unit plan for basketball, grade two through four, and it says introduction of basketball, and it lists each lesson, and then you can dissect it and go and ask it for a lesson plan. The, the ones in yellow are my questions, and it just takes a few seconds, and then it comes up with really good answers. And you can also regenerate the response or do that. Now, this is all for PE related. If you want questions of your own or different subjects, uh, as a teacher, you can do new chat because it remembers what you ask. So, as you can see, there's a lesson plan over there. It would be really good for lesson planning. And I said, Make sure you have higher order questions in your lesson because I get counted off for that sometimes in evaluations, but that's a good resource. Assessment, give me 15 more assessments uh, for writing. So there's dribbling, record a video. Did they maintain and control the ball? So this is an awesome resource. And it doesn't have to be basketball. It can be any sport, any activity for any grade. So it comes up with really good answers, but you can always scroll through it, right? And I'm just showing you an example. This, this is just the start of the beginning of this. And it's called Chat GPT. Here's basketball, fourth grade, vocabulary words. And you got pass, receive, dribbling, layup. And it's just terminology that's amazing. The history of basketball. So you can go in depth. Dr. James Naismith got that basket, put it on the barn, made it. So, and then please modify the games for the elementary. So you can do modifications, especially I teach special education in PE class, and I'll definitely use this as a, as a resource. How do we? incorporate different academics and uh, fitness in elementary basketball. So <laughs> it's just a great resource. What are some good songs that you could do to practice the dribble to the beat? Follow the leader, dribble to the beat, um, create a workout with a basketball. It's just amazing. Station ideas, how to modify Slim for five for special needs, uh, some affirmations while dribbling. I can control the ball. Uh, I did sub plan there. I typed that in before and then it gave me great sub plan. And then I typed it in again and it wasn't very helpful. But you just got to keep retrying and be very specific. So this is really cool. Uh, it was an email. Uh, we do jump up our heart, so I was just messing around. And it, I told it to write a email 
to the parents or guardians and it just spit out this the date time higher court higher order questions for PE sports and health and fitness whatever your focus point is what you need to work on is what I would ask it exit tickets how could you do writing in PE I know that some of you do it, some of you don't. That's fine. Here's some interview questions. Now, I was typing what's some interview questions for my student teacher because I always interview her before she interviews somewhere else. So we do like a mock interview to get her prepared for the right answers um, that and she feels comfortable. So how do you motivate students who are not interested in physical activity? And then like I typed, I typed um, questions for interviews and then I was like, okay, hard questions. And then I was like, okay, type hard questions and answers. So the resource is asking the right questions and know how to ask the right questions. And these answers are absolutely awesome. Positive reinforcement and encouragement to help them see and value fun and physical activity. And it's amazing. It blows my mind. I said different countries and with PE, and it doesn't have to be spelled right. So definitely mess around with it. It can be very useful. Goals and reflection questions. And this is how you could work together, especially with the classroom teachers. Um, you could say writing prompts when we're in basketball or whatever. And also, this was very interesting. I behavior management would be that's why I work with mostly with my student teacher how to manage the kids and how to get different relationships with all the kids and work on towards that and as a new teacher you could use this as a resource and to help you be a really good teacher too and so this is help autistic first graders focus and be class use visuals provide structure and routine use sensor strategies okay use positive re reinforcement work with special tips how do you incorporate mental health with happiness in a basketball lesson? So this is including, um, you can type it anything. I'm going to show you how it works. Um, field day activities. Let's see. Activities with description and instructions for elementary oh well let me try again i've been allowed to sit for a while let's try again dust yourself off and try again boom And you can top 20 field day activities and then you can break it down. Boom. I always say please, just in case AI takes over the world. You know, at least we're nice. So, field day instructions and descriptions 10 stations and I know that's a really good spelling right here cool and it doesn't matter so hey use this resource um, I've been doing it to make up workouts 
I said, what's well, uh, some CrossFit style workouts for kids for the elementary? And it creates that. Um, you can use it for letters, emails, higher order questions. But um, tell me how you guys use it. And this is just the start of it, too. So uh, there is a PowerPoint one. It's to me, T O M E. And you can type in to me, and it, it makes it makes PowerPoints on the go, which is amazing. So look at this potato sack race. No, print it off. Give it to the tea, like give it to whoever's in front of the station, and it's an awesome resource. So I did, let's see, yeah, let's just do one free. Oh, yeah, let's do the free one. It's a portfolio you can put on pictures, but I'll do that another day. But I just wanted you to be aware the resources are out there and they're endless. So if you have a computer and if you have Chat GPT, you can. Do anything. You can make emergency sub plans if you need to, or just different ideas. So, you guys have a good day. I mean, always keep bounding, uh, eat real food, and drink water. <laughs>